It's a big day. Welcome to the show. I'm going to start building the slide rails, skid bars, nerf bars, step rails, whatever you like to call them for my Mentelli cart. So stick around. Does this look right? Ow! Where did I put my screws? I'm not sure this is how it's supposed to go. So a little while ago, I mocked up this wooden version of a, I'm going to call it a skid rail or a rock rail, uh, depending on where you come from and what you want to call these things. Uh, I mocked it up in wood, and I'm going to go ahead and start uh, building this out in some metal that I picked up, and I've been practicing my welding, so don't judge too harshly, please. So I have two different templates of these built up, and I'm just going to use this one because they are almost identical, with an exception of how they attach to the cart, which I still haven't exactly decided how I'm going to attach them to the cart, but we're going to go ahead and build out the initial rock rail and step part of it and all these extra little step pieces uh, and then just kind of see how it fits on the cart and see how it goes and this one here i'm measuring out at 39 inches long for this initial uh, rock rail piece and these here are about six inches long and i may shrink that up a little bit or just grab a couple once I have these two pieces put on, go ahead and cut a couple different sizes of these just to see which size I think I might like best. I'm going to use this version 2 over here to lay out all my pieces to make sure that I have everything uh, lined out correctly. Uh, that was this piece right there. And eventually I should have the entire project laid out one on top of the other. Final draft over first draft or metal draft over first wooden Second wouldn't trap, don't worry about it. Now the second piece I'm gonna do is it's gonna be the front of this step and I'm measuring it from the longest part of that 45 over here. It says 18 and three quarters. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but wood isn't exactly the most precise, especially with me doing it. I'm going to do that at 18 and a half just to see if I can maybe snug up that little bit of a gap right there. Just push this over just a little bit and yeah, it's a work in progress. We'll see how it goes. Measure everything three times. Okay. There you go. Now you can see me. Measure everything thrice. Be burring to do on these, but uh, it's added to the collection. And now for the part that I'm just not sure about. So, let's see if I can get this glove off. So, we've got the, uh, the main uh, rock rail done right here. We got the uh, outside of the step done right here. Now there's all these little pieces here. You know what? Let me show you on the other one. This would just be way easier. So these right here, I measured out at about six inches uh, from here to here. And I'm trying to decide exactly how much of a step do I want. Uh, size nine combat boot is this wide right here across the toe. So, step on it, you know, widest part of the front toe of the boot is from here to here, which is, a, I guess, six inches out of 40, whatever that number is, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm trying to decide exactly how long I want this to be. And I think what I may do is measure from the inside of this angle here to the outside of this angle here, the out, inside, out, whatever that is. Just measure from here to here. And I think I'm just going to take off about a half an inch 
should suck it up just a little bit to right there and half inch so that's going to take a quarter inch if my a squared b squared c squared pythagorean theorem thing is correct should if I, for every inch that you take off here 45 should take off a half inch ish so if i take off just a little bit let's just do this let's do a couple see how it turns out Yep, still hot. But yeah, spot on. As far as I'm concerned for a homeowner job. There we go. All right, two down, many, many, many to go. Okay, so I have spirited the boring details of the other cuts. So I went ahead and laid it out and seeing it like this, I'm half tempted because I really like the way that that looks. To just leave that triangle right there open that nice little corner right there get these nice and evenly spaced i haven't spaced them out really yeah let me get this cleaned up go ahead and uh, clean up some of these bird edges that i didn't get to begin with and uh tack it together and just see how it looks Okay, so I got the uh, right and left bars built. Go ahead and put them together, and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and grind down all the welds that I did on top, at least. I might do the ones on bottom, too. Uh, oops, I guess I forgot to clean that one off. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just get these all nice and smoothed up, cleaned up, and... Uh, Take it from there. Finally got them built. Now I just need to finish. Alrighty, so better or worse, these are the end result. I got all the welds that are going to be seen mostly, uh, or stepped on, run into. I got all those ground down. Uh, Hindsight, I'm not sure I would ever do that again. I'd probably wear those bad welds like a badge of honor. That was a lot of work to go through for, uh, well, I mean, it does look kind of cool. Whatever. Let's see what it takes to get these things fit on the cart. It's about how I want it to sit. Got it going right down here, continuing that angle along. Same with the back. The angle just continues. And when you go to step up, plenty big enough for the size 9 boot. I might see what I can do to drop it down a little bit. Maybe just a little. Getting closer and closer. Went ahead and just put a 90 degree bar straight off the front. And for now I've just got a uh, 
like a U-bolt thing. That seems to hold it pretty well. So now I'm going to measure in the back here to this frame rail, and I'm going to go ahead and just put another U-bolt right around this. So I'll have to uh, put it at somewhat of an angle. And I'm not sure exactly where it needs to go. I'm going to play with the stick and see what the best kind of angle is going to be because it's going to have to go right in there somewhere. So I'm going to get a, another U-bolt and go ahead and start playing with this thing and see what that angle is going to be. So a few things I've noticed here so far. Uh, try and sneak in here. You got the uh, 45 measured off right there with that bracket. And I really like that little gap it puts right there. Just make sure it's a, make make it a little bit lower, a little bit easier to step in. And I'll sneak you up in here. Hopefully, you can see we got the. Uh, U-bolt going around the frame right there in the back and I don't know how much of a limiting factor that's going to be but it definitely is going to reduce the amount of suspension flex allowable in the rear but to be honest I don't I don't know how much it really flexes. I might have to have somebody jump on the back of it just to see if it'll smash the wood. But otherwise, looks like I got my measurement right here. And uh, tighten these down, just finger tight, wiggling them around. This little plate that's on here, I'm gonna have to find something different, something a little bit more uh, robust. Don't want that flexing. In my test fitting, this is the uh, little piece that goes on here. And try and line it up so you can kind of see. It's already bent just with a test fitting, and that was with me barely putting any uh, weight or pressure on it. So that's definitely going to have to be thickened up just a bit. And we got some scrap metal here. Let's grab this. Uh, the other thing is, I'd like to have it a little bit thicker and meatier, not just, you know, thicker this away, which that's not a whole lot thicker. I think that's an eighth. Um, that's three eighths. That is definitely thicker. I probably got a few of those. Already. Yep. Uh, probably is here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that would fit chop that up into strips. I don't know how thick that is. Probably quarter. Uh, I guess a 3 8 plate here. 3 8 plate would probably work. Yeah, as much as I want to use that 3 8 Ah, oh, that would be so mean. No, let's go ahead and use... Let's go ahead and cut up some 3 8 I'll draw some pictures, make them yeah, go about two inches wide, just nice and thick. And then we'll get all the mill scale cleaned up, draw some circles on it, drill them out. That'll work. That's what we're going to do. I think it might not be plenty heavy duty enough. Go ahead and draw out some circles on it in the just right spots, maybe some ovals. Hopefully circles will work. I can't cut ovals. Hey, another day has come and gone, but we have our next slide rail done. Just need to put these on now that I got them all nice and cleaned up. And a friend of mine told me about this uh, muriatic acid stuff. And I gotta tell you, this is so much easier. So we got the caps, over there 
in there. We got four nice big thick braces. Hold everything on. And hopefully tomorrow night we'll get this all put together and I'll throw them on the cart so you can take a look. So here we are, all done up. Got it finally painted. That took a while. And you can see how they stick out just a little bit from the edges, but it is just enough to make a nice little step. And as I kind of said before, size nine boot. They are plenty sturdy. Hang on a second, let me get some shots of how sturdy they are. And since somebody may question how well that looks from here, I'm gonna hop up on the back and jump up and down. You can see just how close it gets right here to hitting that uh, trailing A-arm there. So as you can see, it does not get very close at all. And with the edges, I tried to keep them right there. And we'll show off the other side. It's just as sturdy and looks just as good. Here's what we look like underneath. There's the U-bolts for the front right here. Just goes over and you see that uh, I think it's a 3 16th plate that I put there. And for the rear, kind of goes right across the frame right there with that bolt and again that 3 16th plate. And even that 3 16th, I cranked it down hard. You may be able to see it, it's bowing just a little bit. And here's a shot of the front where it crosses the front cross member. It goes right there. So there we have it. We got our little rails, skid rails, nerf bars, whatever you want to call them, all hooked up. So next up, something a little bit more beefy, maybe a winch.